Hello, Rodney Warren here, and welcome to the first of three success videos. I've got some great things in store for you. Let me start by sharing a short clip of the snowbirds when they came to my hometown of Kelowna. You know, some things get you to thinking. Like, have you ever wondered how it is that the Wright brothers ever figured out how to build the aircraft? Really, it's incredible. Or maybe why it is that 95% or so of the world's wealth is held by about 5% of the people in the world, give or take a little. Also, another observation. Have you ever noticed that people are generally in more debt, as well as fear, and in the state of anxiety, hopelessness, and even in some cases, rage? Well, if you're like most of us before we learn some of the methods that I would like to share in these videos, and my book, Find Your Place by Following Your Passions, and Mastered Them, you're probably stressed out, overworked with too much to do, and too little time for yourself. You may feel like life is out of control, and you most likely have health challenges, relationship problems, and a financial situation that needs work, or any combination of the above. In other words, you're suffering from the same problems as about 95% of the population. That's why today I want to share a little about something that all of us think about, I would guess on a very regular basis. And in this case anyways, I'm not talking about food or even sex. But like sex or food, what I'm talking about is mysterious, somewhat elusive, and can bring great pleasure when obtained. Although it comes to all of us in thought, it only manifests to a few in real, physical, and tangible form. Trying to catch it is like trying to chase a jackrabbit down a hole, and it seems that it takes quantum physics to really understand. Yes, if you haven't figured it out, I'm talking about success. Today, let's take a look at this sort of misnomer, this attribute, this very building block for our happiness and fulfillment in life, this word called success. I've chased this metaphorical jackrabbit myself for years and I finally caught up with this sort of little genie. You see, I've been like you chasing the dream and looking for clues to the answers of success in my own life. And before we make some mind and life changing discoveries today, and with your permission, I'd like to give you a flash glimpse into my story for those of you that don't know me yet. My backstory is one of a poor background with no formal education. In fact, I was a grade 10 dropout. Today, I'm the owner and creator of a successful paint contracting company in the Okanagan area, as well as an online marketing company called Elite Force Marketing, where I enjoy helping clients and small business get exposure on the internet as well as writing books and creating videos on marketing and personal development. I have a beautiful wife and family, and we own our home outright here in the Okanagan. But like I mentioned, it wasn't always that way. Growing up, we as a family, with my two brothers, mom and stepdad, we had just enough money to keep a roof over our heads, and because of our parents' hard work ethics, we always had food and clothing, and lots of love. In fact, in many ways, I count myself lucky and wouldn't want to have changed anything much at all about my upbringing, although I did grow up with a sort of poverty mindset because there just wasn't a lot of money around. If there was to be any extras for anything, I soon learned to go after it myself. I had no money, no education, and absolutely no understanding of success. And that had brought me to a long journey of trying to find the answers that I needed for success in my own life whatever that was to look like. And I felt like you may be feeling something like a round peg trying to fit into a square hole. And it made it real difficult to catch that damn jackrabbit. <laughs> in fact, I liken the whole situation as being set out lost in the desert for 40 years, left to survive on manna, just outside of the finer things in life. That was me, frustrated, confused, and growing impatient. Can you relate? Bet you can. But I finally found some very incredible teachers and mentors to study, and study and apply I have, and I've disseminated some golden nuggets to share with you, to really shave years off of your potential struggle to find success. So what have my years of study and frustration and eventual conquer taught me that I can share with you? Well, let's take a moment and talk success 101. Let's nail this thing down and get to the core. Let's unveil the mystery that would be called success. You know, most people consider success as something that may or may not happen in the future or an event, but actually it's a process, a journey, not a destination, but the travel and the experience along the way. 
Being full is part, but preparing and enjoying the flavor of the meal is the part most pleasurable and memorable. If you set out purposefully and enjoy what you're cooking in life, <laughs> sometimes through experimentation the dish may be a flop, but that's all part and parcel as well. It's thought by many that success is perhaps something that money can buy, and I guess in some sense money can help to fill some voids, but really, money doesn't automatically equate to success or being successful. Money rather is a benchmark of success but only one of many benchmarks and not the end all and be all. And it's been said and it's true that it's not the millions of dollars that you could make that's important, but the person that you become in doing so along the journey. The all round building of character through learning to collect and apply knowledge and sharing of time and knowledge and helping others. The setting and achieving of goals, the go-getting one, the getting is tough, the ability to craft your time and energy on successful things despite outside noise and interference. The building of patience and all round wisdom. These are also benchmarks of success. Earl Nightingale of Nightingale Conan, the world's acclaimed producers of personal development materials, said that this about success. Success can be defined as a person who is progressively working towards and realizing a worthy ideal. It's the person who says, I'm going to become this, and begins to work towards that goal. A successful person may be a school teacher, a doctor, lawyer, chef, or anything, person, or trade that you can conceive, because that's what that person wants to do. Success is doing a predetermined job because that is what he or she decided to do deliberately." End quote. A success then may be a man, woman, or child who decide to be financially independent and goes out to achieve it. Well, success carries a price tag. The price tag calls forth something from us. It calls forth a new way of being, a new way of thinking, a new way of living and acting. A drive that can be solve, solve problems, the situations and the limitations that have us where we are currently at today. Success calls out and demands that we develop and really hone in on some characteristics, skills, talents and abilities that at first we haven't yet developed. Remember what I said, it's the person you become that's equally if not more important than the accumulated riches that can be made. Well. Change and hard work is not an easy process. It takes discipline and study, and most of all, a burning desire to succeed. So my challenge to you before I go and create your next video is, if you had six months to live in an unlimited bank account to do whatever you wanted, what would you do? Please give this some thought because in the next video, we're gonna take your discovery and put it into a small exercise where I'll show you how you can begin at once to manifest these things into your life, even if you don't have a big bank roll right now. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on the next video. In the meantime, please take a minute and share your thoughts in the columns in the section below here. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Until next time, live with compassion, give generously, and seize life's golden opportunities. We'll talk to you soon.